I am back again, number two. I'm back with another talking sport. It's been a while, it's been a few weeks since I did my first talking sport, and I'm back today to talk about football, fighting, everything that's gone on, the recent, what's happened. The last time I spoke to you guys, Man U were a week away from playing Chelsea at the bridge. We never have a good result there. Mourinho never does well there. Ferguson never did. Ferguson had a bad record there as well, to be fair. But we, we've never done well at the bridge. I was surprised by that performance at Stamford Bridge. I actually was. Martial had a great game. Two great finishes, really. The first one was lucky, which sparked our team into action. It, without that lucky goal from Martial, we were, we, were, we were losing that game. The first half we did, we weren't even there. Non-existent. Typical Mourinho performance, the first half. We were lazy, we sat back, they pressured us. They should have been at least 2-0 up, but they only scored one, which was good for us, really. We got back into the second half, we went 2-1 up. And then we conceded in the 95th minute to Ross Barkley, who's had a transformation in the last few weeks. God, he's, he's turned his career around. I'm, I'm happy for him, though. I'm happy for Ross Barkley. He's doing well now. He's doing really well. I'm proud of him. He's doing well. Yeah, he's sorted his game out now. He, he's, a, he's a different player under Sarri. Sorry, sorry, whatever his name is. Yeah, Barkley's doing well. But yeah, that was a good result. We should have got the... the really, we should have got the win against Chelsea. They should be beaten. They were still unbeaten, but we should have beaten them at the bridge. And Martial, he's, having, he's in great form. Martial is in great form. Uh, last Sunday, a few days ago, Man United played Everton. I always thought we'd win that game, to be honest. We usually beat Everton. We love scoring against Everton. We always score a lot against Everton as well. Pogba played really well, but oh God, his run up, his penalty run up was like 20 seconds long, literally 20 seconds long. It was it was quite funny. It was quite funny. He even took the mick out of himself on his Instagram, which is funny. But yeah, two good performances really. We've got Bournemouth away. I think we've got Bournemouth away coming up, and then we've got City after that. God, I'm not looking forward to the City game. At the Etihad, it's going to be a it's going to be a proper. Proper game. He could either go. He'll go extreme one of one of one of both ways. They'll either dominate us and destroy us like they did last year, or we'll go at we'll go it to the Etihad and we'll get at them like we did in the, in the second half of the, of the game last year. The Etihad and we'll beat them. Last year, Pogba scored two goals in like ten minutes and we beat them three two, stop them winning the title against us. They still won the title, obviously, but we if we City are a team that if you go at them, you play at them, you get at them. Everyone that's beaten has just gone at them. Don't care about their passing, their play, their dribbling and their passing and their their movement off the ball and all that crap. You just go at them, you pressure them, you can Liverpool have beat how many times have Liverpool beat City playing that constant pressure the way they do, the way Klopp loves to play. Constant pressure, Atom, defending from the front, Firmino, Salah, Mane, Atom, sprinting, closing them down, don't give them a second on the ball. And it, it, it stops it. City City Whenever they play Liverpool, they get they get in trouble because they can't deal with the constant pressure. And they can't deal with it. It's hard to play it like that all the season, though. Klopp's Klopp's uh, he's gonna he's gonna struggle to play like that for the full 38 games in Champions League and all that. He's gonna struggle. Firmino's Firmino's fit. He, he can do that for days. He loves running. He's great. Really. Firmino's so underrated. It's a joke. But yeah, Mane and Salah are gonna gonna struggle. Gonna get him fit. Then it's a they'll struggle to keep that up for for, for the 50 games they're gonna have this season. It's just sprinting at players constantly, that high pressure, that the way they play, it's just hard to maintain. But yeah, they're doing well. Salah's got into really good form now. Definitely putting him in my dream team now. He is low. He's he's under like he's like 0.5 million under value because they thought he's having a bad season. He has three games, unstoppable. Now he's on, he's he's in great form again, like last season. But the last three games, he has been in great form. He's been in great great form. Uh, yeah, we're coming ever cl ever closer to the uh, Tyson Fury Wilder fight. That's coming up soon. Got a month until that. This weekend we've got UFC. We've got the uh, Derek Lewis, the Beast, fighting DC for the heavyweight ch uh, championship. This is it's gonna have to know this one because it is a weird one. You got DC, who is the best. He by far he's by far a better fighter than Derek Lewis. He should dominate him. He's got so he got every he, he beats him in every area apart from sh striking power, pretty much, because he could out wrestle him. He could take him down. He could ground and pound him. He could submit him. 
he could just wear out Derek Lewis on his feet by jabbing and moving and, and beating that way. He, Derek Lewis's only way of winning is by clipping him with the power he's got because his power is insane. He knocks out anyone and everyone. He just he connects with one shot and you're and you're going to sleep. Like his last fight, literally his last fight was what two weeks ago, three weeks ago. That Volkov, Volkov was dominating him. Fifth round, like ten seconds left, all Volkov had to do was move away, get away from him, run away from him, literally, just stay away from his hands, his power. He stood there, he takes a right hand, wobbles him, takes a right hand, he's on the floor, and he's getting grounded pounded and he gets knocked out when he should have won that fight. He was winning, dominating him. Makes no sense, but yeah, it's it's, a, it's good things coming up. We've got Liverpool. Arsenal this weekend. Arsenal are just they're gonna get found out. Liverpool will destroy Arsenal. No joke. They will destroy Arsenal. Arsenal are playing well though, they're playing well. Gotta give it to Unai Emery. They're playing well. Lacazette and Abamyang are in great form. Ozil's popped up and had a good game. And now he's one of the best players in the Premier League again apparently. One of the best players. He's just too inconsistent, he's not good enough. Ozil is just not good enough. He's thirty now as well, so I've I've never rated Ozil really. I thought he was a good player from Real Madrid, but he's still, he's still inconsistent. He had a good game and then three bad games, and then a good game and then three bad games every time. He's not consistent enough. He's nowhere near De Bruyne's level or Hazard's level. He's no, nowhere near the creative level. Like he, David Silva embarrasses him every week. And how old is David Silva? He's older than 30, isn't he? He's got to be. I think he's 31 or 32, David Silva. He embarrasses Ozil every week. I know he's in a better team, and he's playing under Pep Guardiola. He's probably a better manager than Unai Emery. She's fair enough, but still, it was, it was it's terrible. Liverpool, Liverpool will beat them easy. I reckon three or four one. Salah will score. Firmino will probably score. The top, the front three will just will just destroy it, Arsenal because they can't defend. They can't defend. Mustafi's trash. He gave away a penalty at the, at the weekend when he shouldn't have. He just slid in uh, from a corner, pointlessly. Bellerin's been playing better. Got to give it to Bellerin. He's defending much better than he was before, and he's he's always been a right, a good attacking fullback. But yeah, they can't. They won't be able to deal with Liverpool. But yeah, yeah, it's going well. Everything's going well. United are looking up for the minute. We've got Bournemouth next. It's a hard game. Bournemouth is a hard game. They're, they're above us in the league, which makes sense. Yeah, they're, they're they're doing well. They they just beat um. They they in the last game they play. I don't know they played actually. I can't remember. They play. They won three 0 away from home. Wilson scored two because he's in my dream team. That's why I remember he scored two. Wilson scored two. Uh, Fraser got two assists. Oh, and that Brooks scored, didn't he? That Brooks, he's come out of nowhere. That Welsh winger, he's doing well as well. Eddie Howe deserves all the credit he could get. Honestly, Bournemouth are doing brilliantly. Yeah, they're saying he'll move Eddie Howe to a bigger club. I'm not sure if that'll happen. Uh, Pochettino's been linked to uh, Madrid. Madrid have just sacked their manager, Julian la, 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 Julian something. The uh, he's had a shock in a few months, and he? he got sacked by Spain for announcing the Real Madrid move, and then he's been in charge of Real Madrid for a few like two months, and now he's been sacked. But Madrid have had their worst start ever, and that's down to Ronaldo leaving. They didn't score in like four league games, I think it was. That is insane for Real Madrid. That's that is like that was an unbeaten run. That is the worst run. I think that was the worst um, scoring goal scoring run in thirty or forty years or something like that. They are feeling the effects fully of Ronaldo leaving because they let he left Madrid start this season. Madrid had the worst start they've ever had, I think. And then he went to Juve and Juve had the best start they've ever had in the league. They won nine out of their first ten games. And he's been scoring assists and he's doing a lot. Unbelievable player. I'm going to bloody cry when he retires. Absolutely. Cry my eyes out like a little baby. Because his CR7 is just so good. Unbelievable. Messi's injured. He injured his arm. Broke his fractured a bone in his arm as well. It's all going down. Yeah, the next time I... Yeah, that, I think that's it. I think I've, I think I've spoke about everything I wanted to speak about. I can't remember what else. Canelo. I know Canelo Alvarez got the deal. I don't think that happened after my last video. He got a £365 million contract deal over five years, which is insane. Oh, UFC Ben Askren swapped for Demetrius Johnson. 
which is a groundbreaking move for MMA overall, because that is just that's just sorted out MMA as a whole. Because that first swap, that's the that'd have been the hardest swap to ever make. So now they're going to start swapping these organizations like Bellator, UFC, going to start swapping their fighters. It's going to be good. You're going to you're going to get more crossovers than ever before now, which is great news, because you get the best of the best fighting each other. Better competition, better fights, more entertainment for us. It's worked out brilliantly. And Ben Askren is an unheard of guy. Like, he is undefeated. He never gets hit. He's a great wrestler. He'll probably beat, uh, I reckon he'll beat 9 out of the top 10 in the 155 pound division and the 170 pound division. He can fight both. People are saying he'll fight GSP or uh, GSP or Khabib. I'm not sure who he'll fight, but Khabib's probably the hardest matchup for him because he is a good wrestler. I don't think I think they'll have a, they'll neutralise each other. It'll be it'll be like they'll take each other down a few times and it'll be a mix up. But yeah, he's a great fight and that and that's DJ's gone the other way. So always looking up for MMA and football. Everything's going well. The next time I speak to you will be after United play Bournemouth away. Hopefully, I'm I'm not sure about that game. Um, I probably I reckon we'll get a draw or we'll win. We'll we'll win unimpressively. Or we'll draw. We'll, uh, when I come back, Arsenal would have lost to Liverpool, I think, in my prediction. Um, who else? I uh, don't know who City have next. Don't really care. They'll win. Don't even need to look. They'll win. Um, Chelsea, phew, God knows who they have next, but they'll win. They'll just beat Bourne Burnley 4 0. It is what it is. So, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening, and uh, I'll be back in a week or so with uh, more football roundup, fighting roundup, whatever's going on in the sports world. I'll be back and I'll be talking sport. Thank you for watching.